Hey, this video is going to be the, about the information that's on page word 90 and 91, and this is dealing with editing headers and footers. And to change header or footer text, or to alter the formatting of headers and footers, you must first open the header and footer area. You open headers and footers by using the edit header or edit footer command in the header and footer galleries, or you can double click the header or the footer itself in the print layout view. So let's take a look now at step one. Step one tells us that we need to scroll down and place the insertion point at the top of page two, right before the spotlight on Japan there. And then it tells us to position our pointer over the header text at the top of page two, and then double click. Now you can do this as well, like the textbook said, we can also go in uh, on there and we can just click on our, um, on our header here and then it, while we're inside this gallery we can click on edit header so you can either double click up in the header or footer area or you can just go to your insert and then go to header or footer and then when you open up the gallery you can just click on the edit header step two tells us that we're going to place the insertion point between the two spaces after footprints and to do this, we may need to turn on our, um, if it's not on currently, you need to make sure that you have the uh, show formatting marks on. And we're going to place our insertion point in between the two spaces on there. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on the insert tab. And then now we're going to go in and click on symbol. And that's over here in the symbols group. So. And this is also a two-function button, so we can click on this, and there is uh, our list of symbols that we can choose from automatically. But what we want to do is we want to click on More Symbols, because these are some of the most commonly used. But when we click on More Symbols, there are a lot of symbols that we can choose from uh, that's on there. And, of course, this gallery right here is going to be uh, the normal text but down here at the bottom is the ones that we've seen in our previous screen, and that's the recently used symbols. And the symbols dialog box, which is what we're looking at right here, uh, gives us these symbols, which are ultimately just special characters such as graphics, shapes, foreign language characters that you can insert into a document. The symbols shown uh, here are the symbols included with the normal text font. And you can use the font list arrow on the symbols tab to view the symbols that are included uh, with each font on your computer. Of course, if you want to insert a character uh, such as an M dash or an epilepsis, which is like the dot dot dot, uh, you need to select the character on the special characters tab in the symbol dialog box and then click on insert. So uh, there's your dot 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 or here's your longer dash. Step three tells us that we need to scroll through the list of symbols, if necessary, and you need to locate the bullet symbol, which is this one right here uh, on there. And then once we have that one selected, you need to click on insert. So that just adds in a bullet. Now notice that when you click on insert, the symbol dialog box does not close on there. And to close it, we have to actually click on the close button. And then you'll notice that there's our symbol here. Of course, if you cannot locate the symbol, be for sure that the font is set to the normal text. And then you can also type in the character code, which is 2022 in the text box. Step 4 tells us that with the insertion point still in our header text, we're going to click on our Home tab. Then it tells us to click on the bottom border list arrow. So we go here to our paragraph group, and here's the bottom border button, and there's our bottom border list arrow. And then we're going to go down here to borders and shading. So we're going to add in uh, a bottom border to this. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the borders tab if it's not already selected. And we're going to click on custom here. And this is where you can set a custom uh, border to your uh, information in your document. The next, what we're going to do is that in the style group, we're going to click on the dotted line which is the second option right here. 
then it tells us to click the with list arrow. So we're gonna go down here and we need to click on two and one fourth point. Now once you have that set, you can take a look up here and it shows you what the style is gonna look out like. But over here in the preview area, notice that there's no uh, lines around there. To apply that, we need to click on the bottom border button. And you can tell that there's a straight line right through there and that's our bottom border right there. And then you'll notice that in the preview area, there's our bottom board that we have. Once we have that done, we're just going to go ahead and click on, uh, it tells us on here that we want to make sure it's applied to the paragraph. And we're going to click on OK. Now you'll notice that there is our uh, dotted border underneath the footprints. Now it tells us that we want to go ahead and close our header and footer, so you can either double click in the document here or you can click on close header and footer on there. And then we can click on the show hide button on the home tab and then you'll notice what the document now looks like. So now we have a dotted line border that's added below the header text. Step six tells us we want to go to uh, the top of the page, so we're going to press our control and then home key to move the insertion point to the beginning of the document. Now the newsletter already includes the name of the document at the top of the first page, making the header information redundant. So now we can modify the header and footer so that the header and footer does not appear on the first page of a document uh, or a section. And to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to reopen back up our header. So you can either, once again, double click up here in the uh, header section or once again go to the insert header and edit header and that is going to open back up the header and footer area now what we're going to do here is is that we're going to be taking a look at the options group on the header and footer design tab and that's going to include options for creating a different header or footer for the first page of a document or a section and for creating different headers and footers for odd and even number pages. For an example, if a document uh, with facing pages, such as a magazine, you may want to, and, uh, to change the publication title to appear on the left page header and the publication date on the right page header. Or you may want to have the uh, page number in the lower left hand side for a left page and or, or a lower right hand side for a right hand page. So. In this options here, this is where we have these different checkboxes right here. And it tells us that on step eight, we're going to click on different first page. Now notice that when you click on that, the header and footer text is removed from the header and footer area on the first page. And to see that, we'll close our header and footer. And we'll take a look, and page one does not have a header, doesn't have a footer. But look at page two. It has our header and the footer. And you can scroll down and see there it is for page three and for page four. And that is actually step nine, where you scroll to see the header and footer on pages two, three, and four. Then make sure that you save your document. Of course, you can enter different text into the first page header and first page footer areas when the different first page checkbox is selected. So if I want this first page to be different, I can reopen this area back up here at the top or at the bottom, and then I can make some changes to that. And that concludes the information on page Word 90, editing headers and footers. You're ready to move on to the next video where we're going to be inserting in tables.